Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lares Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the Android drag and drop using the rearrangeable layout library. Uh, in this particular tutorial, we'll be integrating the rearrangeable layout library uh, in our Android application, which we are going to have a simple uh, drag and drop uh, effect. Uh, we are not just going to be limited to only drag and drop, but we can easily rearrange uh, some layout uh, or some items right on the UI of our application. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I'll be explaining the source files and details. Uh, we'll look at the build gradle, the modular session. We have our dependencies, compact project library folder where we have the uh, the library source files that actually do uh, the, uh, the weight and night uh, integration of the rearrangeable uh, drag and drop. I'll be taking a quick uh, review of all the libraries in which I won't be going into details of how it actually is. If you notice, you see the library folder. Uh, that's the library that's actually uh, making these uh, drag and drop uh, effects very, very are possible. Uh, we have the rest where we have the values, the actress, that's the attributes, that's XML. And we have a Java class called Rearrangeable Layout, whereby we get to uh, you know, get the callback to update the clients whenever a child is dragged. And we get the position listener, you know, of the drag and drop. Uh, you can actually go through these uh, where we do the maths uh, roundup and we get the width and height of different uh, layouts uh, selected. We also have the manifest of this uh, same library where we just have the package name alone. You know. So that's just the library that is being used. You know, this is a is a book library. It's not actually a, a commercial library out there. It's something I actually compiled together. I'll be moving straight to the app. What about we have the major source file of this uh, particular application. In the rest, we talk about the layout to the activity main.xml. Uh, this is a relative layout with a layout with a night match parent. The party bottom left, right, top, uh, all 16 dp is calling for the main activity. We have the uh, layout, rearrangeable layout, uh, whereby it's calling the library itself. Where we have the click, the clip to padding for us, the outline width 2 dp, and we assign some color to it. We also have uh, another text view where we have uh, the text on the sample demo. These are the uh, text views that we'll be rearranging. We have uh, two of it. We have another one called text view two, which is an ID. And we, the text on it is just a sample demo with very large text that would overflow in width. We have another button, which will be actually be integrating the drag and drop on, uh, which is just a button right on it. And on the last text view will be another sample. So we're going to actually have uh, some effect on four different functionality at the te three text views and one button. A closing rearrangeable layout and a closing relative layout. Let's look at the main activity actually integrates uh, the library, uh, the XML and together. We have the import, the view, tree observer, the view and the majorly the rearrangeable layout uh, from the library. The main activity extends a compact activity whereby we have two fields, uh, the rearrangeable layout root and the tag whereby we instantiate to main activity. Our onCreate method will set the content view to the layout activity main and we initialize the rearrangeable layout object, passing it to the root, getting its ID from the uh, XML and we call back method to call the child position this name method. This is what we do. This, this is the method, the child position on this method. We get to look at what this method is doing. We also have another method, which is a callback method to call the pre the, the pre-draw listener. You know, to redraw the uh, the object. So we'll be looking at these two methods. In this method, there's this particular method called child position listener. Uh, the root layout to receive position of child view whenever any child view is being dragged. Any child view is being dragged, the root. It's going to set the child posi position on this now based on the child view, the old position, and it's going to get the new position whereby it's to shade the new arrange layout. We have on child move, whereby we have uh, three parameters the child view, the old position, and the new position, as I mentioned earlier. 
whereby the tag is going to uh, call the string of the chart view and also for the old position. We have for the pre-draw listener. In this method, uh, we're going to add a, pre a preview listener to the root layout to receive updates during chart view when chart view is, is being dragged. Uh, this uh, particular method, we're going to get the view tree observer and add on pre-draw listener to this and also return true. And let's look at our manifest. Hopefully, our manifest is going to be a simple one where we only have the main activity, which is the launcher activity. I'll be uploading this source file to my GitHub account and I'll be showing this in an Android emulator so that we can be able to see the functionality of a click and drag you know, using the rearrangeable library. Here we go with the application. Uh, we have the uh, sample demo, which is, a, which is a text view. Another sample demo, again, this is a larger one that has a larger width. And we have a very small one and we have the button. Now we'll get, we can get to rearrange all these uh, by clicking and dragging to different position. You get it, drop it down. You can decide to pick this button to go and replace the position the sample button was coming from. The same thing goes for this smaller one. I can decide to pick it up there. And I can decide to pick this large demo downwards. I can decide to create a space here and drag it back. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.